are looking at creating something which is extremely green and also reducing the carbon footprint in the campus. At the same time, the learning is kind of amplified uh, with the green environments. We've used a combination of uh, technologies, including building control systems, to extend the same controls across the entire campus. We thought a lot about how to maximize daylight into the space because we also know that that improves learning while shading windows so that we didn't get lots of heat gain which would make it more difficult and more expensive to keep the space cool. If you design a school properly with enough greenery and water elements and things like that, through design you can actually bring about a cooling. We've also tried to make the building as smart as possible. We brought in aspects on the water management, for example, the rainwater management, the recycling and using of rainwater for plants and greenery. We brought in the aspect of new water, which is a Singapore's own product, where new water is used for certain specific utilities. And then we have the industrial water for the fire and safety, etc. We teach sustainability and green and global warming to our students during academic sessions. So it's important for us to show what we are preaching, we are also practicing. We want students to be aware of green because we want them to be good stewards of the environment.